Yes. Today first concept is interface. Sorry, reflection API. First concept is reflection API. Reflection API. Today first concept is reflection API. API means application programming interface. Application programming interface. Application programming interface. What is reflection API? Reflection API API contains some setup. Contains some setup. Predefined classes. So API contains some set of predefined classes. Among them, one of the class, one of the, one of the useful class, useful class, method class. One of the useful class, method class. What is method class? Method class reference. can hold any other method or function any other method or function method class reference can hold any other method in the specified class in the specified class specified class using same reference using same reference we can invoke the function we can invoke the function or method function or method we can say function or method method or function So very easy, easy concept that is, is reflection API. Reflection API is nothing but application programming interface. API contains some set of free defined classes. Among them, one of the useful class that is method class. What is the use of method class? Method class reference can hold any other method in the specified class. Using same reference, we can invoke that method. Okay, how we can do? So definition is very hard, but concept is very, very easy. So I will show you with the example. I will show you with the example. Already we discussed some Java concepts. Always we declared functions non-static. Always we declared functions non-static. Today I want to declare function is static. Today I want to declare the function in static. So if it is non-static, we can create the object and we can call that function from another class. We can call that function from another class. But today I want to take I want to take static function. So how we can call the static function from another class? So if it is non-static, we can call the functions from another class using object reference. If it is non-static, we can call the functions from another class. So what is non-static, what is static, I will show you. Wait. very very easy concept simple concept to five minutes concept only but very very useful concept api contains some set of free defined classes among them one of the class that is the method class using this uh, using this method class reference we can invoke the function now we can invoke we can discuss now right i'm going to src take the new class class name is api i'm taking class name is api click on finish i'm writing here function public void login I'm writing non-static function. SYSO control space. Login. 
save I want to take another class go to SRC go to SRC take the new class ref keep the mark public static wide menu click on finish so I want to call the function so that is non static so we can call API reference name a equal to new API class name reference name equal to new class name so a dot login a dot login we can call this is non static this is non static so I wrote non static function we can call we can call that is non static so if it is non static we can create the object and we can call that function this is non static already we declared but today concept is static I want to take static function I want to public static void so I want to take static function how we can call that static function today concept is how to call the static function from another class okay how to we can call no we can discuss now I'm taking one string if it is static simply we can create object and we can call but here is non here is it is static so string s equal to login I'm storing in that function in yes method method class reference name m equal to previous class name api dot class dot get method dot get method so yes m dot invoke m m dot invoke m so add throws declaration no such method exception security exception here we can get five exceptions add throws declaration illegal access exception illegal argument exception innovation target exception so here we can get five exceptions so here these are the very very important exceptions whenever you are facing the interview also that time they will ask you like uh, what are the expense expe exceptions in java okay innovation target exception illegal access exception illegal argument exception security exception and no such method exception and uh, still we have one um, more exceptions io exception file not found exceptions in max java we can get seven exceptions these five and io exception and file not found exception so if i click run we can call that login function we can call that login function that is the concept to reflection api so we can call that function login so this is the concept this is the concept to reflection api reflection api is nothing but api it is one of the one of the concepts provided by Java and the reflection API contains some set of free defined classes among them one of the class or one of the one of the class that is method class what is the use of method class method class is used for we can invoke the function from another class okay we can invoke the function from another class that is the use of method class that is the use of method class right any doubt Gaurav no right next concept to next concept to overriding overloading already we discussed next concept to overriding 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 means if at all a function if at all a function existing in parent class if at all a function existing in parent class then that function if we write in child class 
if at all a function existing in parent class then that function if we write in child class then that concept is override if at all a function existing in parent class then that function if we write in child class then that concept is called overriding that parent class function should be there in child class that is the concept of overriding if at all a function existing in parent class then that function compulsory if we write in child class then that concept is overriding so that parent class function should be there in child class in child class if you want extra functions you can write it but that parent class function should be there in child class that parent class all function should be there in child class then we can say that concept is called overriding if at all a function existing in parent class then that function if we write in child class then that concept is called overriding that parent function should be there in child class in child class if you want extra functions you can write it okay that is the overriding concept okay okay how we can do i will explain you with example go to src take the new class and taking class name is model 1 model 1 only i am taking class why because here we have parent class and child class two classes so, so compulsory we need to declare classes differently and individually after that we can call from main method so how we can do we can discuss first of all i am taking model 1 this is called parent class first of all i am taking model 1 class this is the parent class in this parent class i am writing functions public void call sy so control space model 1 call reject message model 1 call model 1 reject and model 1 message okay okay this is the parent class i am writing three functions call to reject to and message okay right i am taking another new class i am taking another new class go to src take the new class model 2 here also i am taking only class so in the place of model 1 i am writing model 2 model 1 i am writing model 2 so here we can write extra functions also public void whatsapp is for is for control space model 2 whatsapp already i told you that that parent class function should be there in child class if you want extra functions you can write in child class i wrote extra function also whatsapp is a extra function so model 1 save it model 2 save save right now come to src come to src take the new class override 
keep the mark public static void menu click on finish Google. model 1 I want to call the functions so all are non static we can call model 1 m1 equal to new model 1 m1 dot call m1 dot reject m1 dot message all right next i want to call the functions m2 model 2 m2 equal to new model 2 m2 dot call m2 dot message m2 dot reject m2 dot whatsapp this is the concept of overriding if at all a function existing in parent class then that function if we write in child class then that concept is called overriding so overriding concept is finished next concept to here only we will discuss same example next concept to next concept is interface based on this pro this concept only we will work with selino here we will learn one sentence or one formula using that formula we can work with selenium web driver so interface what is interface interface is something interface is something created between two somethings 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 so these are the two somethings i am keeping something in between two somethings so this is called interface this is called interface interface is something created between two somethings okay for example iphone people iphone people each and every iPhone having thousands of functions. Each and every iPhone, for example, I am taking one iPhone. Each and every iPhone having thousands of functions, thousands of features or functions. So, they want to maintain some functions in each and every model. They want to maintain some common functions. They want to maintain that some common functions. They want to maintain each and every model. So, that's the reason they are keeping that common function in one interface. They are keeping that common function in one interface. For example, call, reject, call, reject, message. They want to maintain these functions in each and every model. So, that's the reason they are keeping in interface. They are keeping in interface. They are keeping in interface. Why? Because they want to maintain these functions in, in each and every model. They want to maintain these three functions in each and every model. That's the reason they are keeping in interface. If they want to introduce any model into market, compulsory first of all, they will install this interface first of all. If they want to add any extra features, they can add it. But they want to maintain these three functions in each and every model. That's the reason they are keeping in interface. If they want to introduce any model into market, first of all, they will install this interface. After that, if they want any extra features or extra function, they can add it. But they should maintain each and every model, these three functions. They want to maintain these three functions in each and every model. That's the reason they are keeping in one interface. So, for example, so each and every model having these functions or not, we, not, we want to check each and every interface each and every model having these three functions or not so if it is three functions manually we can check and we can decide but each and every iphone having thousands of functions thousands of features so if you want to do manually if you want to check manually it is very difficult that's the reason they are keeping in the interface so so they want to check each and every model having these three common functions or not how they can check we can discuss now
so that is the concept interface concept now they will create one interface they will create one interface how to create interface right click on src take the new interface interface name is iphone interface name is iphone click on finish okay what is the main difference between interface functions and class functions so if it is class function having function body if it is interface interface functions not having function body that is the main difference between interface function and the class function so interface function i'm writing public void call so here is no body public void reject public void message they want to maintain these three functions in each and every model that's the reason they are keeping an interface they want to check each and every model having these three functions or not just go to model one just here we can write model one implements implements iphone so Ah, it is having three functions. If it is any one missing, automatically it will show error message. So model one is showing error. Why? Because this interface function not having model one. So that's the reason it will show you interface. Uh, it will show you error. So control V. So model one having three functions. Model two having or not? We can check it. Go and check it. Uh, implements. iphone how oh, it is also having extra functions is there then it will not show any error that function should be there in each and every model that is the intention now save come to override now i want to give the connection between class and interface i want to give the connection between class and interface just to previously we discussed the class name reference name equal to new class name class to class we are uh, creating object class to class we are creating object but here we need to create object between class and interface how to create uh, object so observe carefully class sorry interface name reference name equal to new class name here we have interface is iphone i equal to new model 1 this is the only line this is the only line only this line purpose only this single line purpose we learn java only for this line only interface name reference name equal to new class name interface name reference name equal to new class name only for this line purpose we learn java so if you if you know this only one line enough to learn selenium there is no need of java only logic will be there only logic will be there only java logic will be there in selenium but uh, only what is the main purpose to learn this java do only this line purpose interface name reference name equal to new class name interface is iphone interface name is iphone interface is iphone iphone i equal to new model 1 so i dot call we can get call i dot call i dot call i dot reject i dot message okay right next iphone i1 equal to new model 2 okay i1 dot call we can get i1 dot message we can get i1 dot reject we can get i1 dot whatsapp will not come why there is no there is no in the interface there is no whatsapp that's the reason we can get only class 
in this class we have only in this interface we have only only three functions call message reject that uh, whatsapp is a class function whatsapp is a class function class to class we can get whatsapp also Ca class to class we can get uh, whatsapp also whatsapp is a class function Wha whatsapp is a class function and call reject message is a interface functions only we can get interface functions only why because here we are creating reference interface and class between we are creating this object that's the reason we can get only interface functions okay class function will not come if you want class function class to class we can get class all functions but if it is interface we can get only interface functions only okay that is overriding and interface concept that is overriding and interface concept very very important concept too, that is overriding and interface okay this is java concepts and one more concept pending that concept i will teach you now so this is a java only for this line purpose we learn java only for line only for this line purpose we learn java okay any doubts madam and gaurav hey shabash right next class arrays next class arrays already we discussed arrays i know just only two minutes array array is nothing but it is a special type of variable which can hold the multiple values array is nothing but it is a special type of variable which can hold the multiple values if you want to add anything to array if you want to get anything from array we will use index concept array index start with zero if you want to add anything to array if you want to get anything from array we will use index concept to array index start with zero and there are three types of arrays one is single dimension array one is single dimension array second one is multi dimension array third one is object array third one is object array single dimension and the syntax into the data type array name equal to new data type size of array simply we can write into a equal to new int size this is single dimensional array if it is uh, multi dimensional array into a equal to new int two rows and three columns this is multi dimensional array next object array object object array is used for store the multi data types if you want to store the multi data types we will use object array object a equal to new object object a new object size i'm mentioning here 3 3 not 3 4 So you have zero. You have zero equal to I'm writing string data type Akil. You have one equal to ten. You have two equal to zero point zero zero one. And you have three equal to single character. Mm, no, no, no. So, if you want to store the multi data types, we will use object array. Object array is used for store the multi data types. Object array is used for store the multi data types. If you want to store the multi data types, we will use object array. So, if it is single dimensional array or multi dimensional array, object array. Each and every time we are mentioning the size. We are mentioning the size. But in Java, we have three more arrays. That is dynamically growing arrays. That is that dynamically growing arrays. Growing arrays. 
dynamically growing arrays no need no need to mention the size automatically if you add anything it will raise the size if you add anything it will raise the size if you add anything it will raise the size that's why we can say dynamically growing arrays whenever we are declaring the arrays we will not mention the size of array we will not mention the size of array why because if you want to add anything then automatically it it can raise the size if you want uh, if you add anything it can raise the size if you add anything it can raise the size so that's why we can say dynamically growing arrays in java we have three dynamically growing arrays what are those we will discuss this is the last concept in java first one is array list what are the main differences between array list and uh, we will discuss now array list has it hash table array list a comma l should be cap 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 h comma it should be cap h comma it should be cap h comma it should be cap and only h only it should be cap only it should be cap only it should be cap okay we can say list we can say list we can say set compulsor we can say hash table only only for strings only for strings only for strings this is a single i'm sorry if you want to add it will count duplicate values it will count dupes it will count dupes duplicate values it will count only unique values it will count only unique values so that means it will not count duplicate values if you want to add anything to array list we will use add method if it is as set we will use add method if it is as table we will use put method and if it is array list we will use if you want to get anything from array list we will use get method here we will use iterator here also we will use get method only it is a single dimension array it is also single dimension array this is multi dimensional that means we have this is called key this is called key this is called value using key using key we can get the value using key we can get the value using value we can't get the key we can get null value we can get null using key we can get the value using value we can't get key we can get null we can get null array list has set and has table array list a comma l should be cap as set only h comma l should be cap as table only h should be cap array list we can say list as set we can say set and as table we can say as table only only for strings only for strings only for strings okay array list it will count the duplicate values as set it will count only unique values that means it will not count duplicate values and hash table it will count only unique values okay if you want to add anything to array list we will use add method if it is as set we will use add method if it is as table we will use put method if it is array, if you want to get anything from array list we will use get method if it is as set iterator if it is as table we will use get method array list is single dimensional array as set also single dimensional array as table is a multi dimensional array that means there are two things one is key other one is value using key we can get the value using value we can't get the key we can get null value that is the concept so i will show you proofs i will show you proofs go to eclipse
go to src take the new class class name is ra keep the mark public static void menu click on finish these are the dynamically growing arrays no need to mention the size of array automatically it can raise the size array list ekml should be cap string a equal to new array list here i am not mentioning any size right a dot add akil a dot add sapna a dot add, if you want to add anything to array list we will use that method okay if you want to get anything from array list we will use get method and now tell me what is the size of array it will count to duplicate values so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 size of array is 8 okay you have get to what is the answer you have get to right why because array index start with 0 array index start with 0 so akili is 0 sapna is 1 no sindhu is 2 so if you want to get the all the values from this array list we will use index concept we will use index concept so if you have 100 values 100 times we need to write this print statements so instead of this one we can use for loop we can use for loop we can use for loop standard for int i equal 0 i less than size i don't know size so simply a dot size a is array list a dot size so i don't know correctly okay where exactly we will use for loop how many fixed number of times so that loop should be execute if you know that figure or number then only we can use for loop but here i don't know size of array that the reason i am giving a dot size a means array list size so if it is size having 8 this it will execute 8 times and it will give the return value save click on run mm, we can get all the values akilu sapna sindhu harita akilu sapna sindhu harita so simply if you have 100 values or 1000 values using this for loop within seconds we can get here that is the use of for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than a dot size i plus plus 600 out dot window learn you have get i if you know that figure if you know number then simply we can write number 8 i know 8 so simply we can write 8 we can write 8 save click on run Yes, we can get the all the values. That is our list. Over. Next, has set. Set. We can say set also. All that I told you. Set string. L equal to new has set. L that add something add something. If you want to add anything to, we will use add method. If you want to get anything from our list, uh, sorry has set, we can use set method. Sorry iterator method. Iterator string it r equal to L dot iterator. For int i equal zero, I less than L dot size. I don't know size, so that's the reason L dot size I am writing i plus plus six hundred out dot print alone. It r dot next it will focus on the next value itr next method is used for it will focus on the next value so it will print the all the values what is the size of 5a why because it will count only unique values it will not count duplicate values so size is 5 what are those a a1 a2 a3 a4 right last one hash table
last one last concept to last bye bye tata java happy java happy journey java okay yes hash table string comma string it is a multi dimensional array so actually is a key hyderabad is value first one is key second one is value okay what is the size it will also count only unique values it will not count duplicate values so here i am copy paste size is 7a size is 7 okay i am giving a kill what is what we can get a kill hyderabad we can get okay i am giving hyderabad what we can get null save click on run size is 7 only save click on run size is 7 only it will count unique values if you want to add anything to here we will use put method if you want to get anything from hash table we will use get method this is java this is java java is finished java is finished tomorrow onwards we can enter into selenium tomorrow onwards we can enter into selenium this is today class this is today class madam any doubts madam uh, now i'm sending this recorded file and keep it and practice it once and tomorrow we have class same time madam we have class and uh, Gaurav, we have class next weekend or middle of the weekend. If you get any time, just call me. Okay? Okay. Have a nice day. Take care. And send me uh, send me your teamware IDs and password. I will send you this recorded file now. Okay? Huh? Yesterday. Oh, oh that is very, very late. Uh, it is occupied nearly 68 GB made up. Okay, that is the reason I deleted 68 GB means that is not easy. We can download under cinemas, madam. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that is, that is the reason I will send you another recorded file. No need to worry. Now only I will send you, madam. Okay. Type your team viewers and passwords, madam. Tomorrow we have class our same time, madam. Okay. Okay, thank you, ma. Bye, ma. Bye, Gaurav. Happy weekend. Bye, madam. Happy weekend. Thank you.